What's up, family? New book out today going in on Barack Obama, accusing him of considering a gay fling. How you do that, I don't know. Especially when a lot of time goes by and you've had time to think about it. And I would assume that if anybody actually considered a gay fling, they would actually go along with it, any man, because those type of thoughts never really goes into a real man's mind. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. Accusing him of considering a gay fling and having passionate sex and doing cocaine with one white woman while proposing to another. Also, the big one, on top of the big one, is that he supposedly cheated on Michelle Obama before they were married. Now, this is all in a book called Rising Star, The Making of Barack Obama by Pulitzer Prize winner, David Garrett. I don't know how this dude got all this information, <laughs> but supposedly these people that he interviewed actually knew Barack Obama and had some type of relationship with him. So they going in and what they're trying to do is discredit him. Now, I personally think Trump is behind it. I think that riding bastard is all the way behind it. I wouldn't put nothing past him. Now, this one girl who says that she was Barack's first girlfriend who goes by the name of Genevieve Cook, she seems to be the lowest of the low. Besides doing the cocaine and all that stuff and all the sexy stuff, you know, which some people experiment in drugs and stuff like that to various degrees, but that ain't what I'm really getting at. What I'm getting at is that after her and Barack broke up, she admitted to having sex with Barack's best friend. So I guess he dodged the bullet with that one. And the other one claims that he was in a more serious relationship with her. She claims that this relationship went on for two years. This was when Barack was about 23, 24, 25. And well, at the time, she was 23 and he was 25 when, this, when they started dating, uh, or actually when he proposed to her the first time. And she says that their relationship was very serious. He proposed, he proposed twice, once at dinner at her parents' house. The parents said that they felt like she was too young to be married. And then she later revealed that the reason why Barack did not marry her or asked her seriously. He, she, she said the second time he asked, she also turned him down, but she felt like he was asking out of desperation because he was moving on. He was getting ready to go to Harvard and he felt like he was going to lose her. So she felt like he was just asking to save face and that he wasn't really, really serious. She felt like he wanted to marry a black woman because she said in 1987 that he had already set his sights on the warehouse, on, <laughs> on the White House. He had already set his sights on the White House that he wanted to become president of the United States. This is all the way back in 1987. And she felt like he uh, was not serious at that time about marrying her the second time he asked because he was becoming very conscious of what it would take to be, become the president of the United States. And he didn't think that marrying a white woman would get him that. So she's saying that that's why he married Michelle instead. But keep in mind, she said that while she was with Barack, while Barack was with Michelle, they continued to have a, an affair for a year. 
and he and she said before they actually got married, that's when it all stopped. Um, interesting. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something. I normally don't talk about this type of shit. This type of shit really just don't interest me at all. Uh, anything that remotely centers around gossip or some shit like that, it don't really interest me. Uh, I'm more about, if I talk about relationships, I like to talk about, you know, how we can come together and, you know, strengthen our relationships. I like to talk about relationships on that type of level. But the reason why I'm bringing this up, of course, is that this is the President of the United States of America. And you got the current dude who acting like the president, acting president, uh, who I believe is might be out there. He may have his hands. I think he got his hands in this whole scandal. And that is why I'm talking about it. Because as I told y'all, when Donald Trump first became the so-called president, I was going to attack his ass every chance I got. And this is one more opportunity to get on his ass. So, yeah, I feel like he has his hand in it. And that's why I'm speaking on this. As far as the, the merit of the book itself, man, who knows what the real truth is? But, you know, how much shit do people really get into when they're young? The only thing that really threw me off Really through my, I mean, because, hey, man, people have indiscretions all the time. But what really threw me off, of course, is, you know, the whole idea of where they said he had a, he had considered a gay fling. No real man considers a gay fling. You either, it's, well, okay, I'll take that back. Let's say a dude considers a gay fling. Well, I'm not going to take no real man considers a gay fling back, but I I will take back. I'm getting to no man. A man, if a man considers a gay fling, he is going to go through with it because no real man puts that in his mind and not follows through. Especially when it's so easy to follow through. So that part right there, man, that threw me off, threw me for a curve. Now, but not too far of a curve because, you know, he was advocating that homosexuality shit hard. But anyway, uh, yeah, so just looking at that, but I'm going to tell you something. If any of that shit is untrue, I, I get dead on the writer's ass first and foremost and anybody else in there that I felt like was lying. I'd get dead on their ass. I'm coming for them. I'm, I'm, I'm coming full throttle. That's what I would do. Now, how Barack responds to this, that's going to be interesting. And it's going to be telling. It's going to tell us a lot how he responds to it. Just like Donald Trump being under investigation by the FBI and firing the, the FBI director who is investigating him tells us a lot. This is very, very interesting. We have a president who brags about grabbing women by the privates and he gets the ride off into the sunset and then we have another president who had supposedly some indiscretions, some sexual indiscretions a hundred years ago. And that's all the media is talking about. Well, not today. They're also talking about the firing of FBI director uh, James Comey. But they're not talking about Donald Trump's indiscretions. They're not talking about all of the vile, vomiting shit he's done throughout the years. I wonder what that book would look like. Now, I want to say this. Old girl said that the, the so-called girl who said that she was his first love, the, the cook girl, she said that Barack broke up with her because he wanted to have a black woman on his side 
as he pursued becoming president of the United States. The lie detector determined that that is a lie. That is not that is not the reason why he broke up with you. He broke up with you because like any progressive man, he matured, he grew. He wanted something bigger in life and he met Michelle Obama. He fell in love and he married the woman that he was in love with, that he felt like he was truly in love with, who was going to be part of his destiny. That's why he stopped fucking with you. And now that you're doing this tell-all book, looks like he dodged a bullet with your ass too. See, time will reveal the people in your life. It really reveal the true colors of the people that's in your life. Because a person who uh, mean you any good, a person who clearly said, who says, that, hey, I love you for real. I'm with you for real. That's loyal to you for real. They wouldn't do no shit like that. They wouldn't do any, they wouldn't do no shit like that to try to discredit you and tarnish your legacy. That's some low down, vile shit. So, enjoy your 15 minutes of fame. Enjoy your 15 minutes of fame. You got about five left. Make it a good one. Yo, if you like the videos I'm bringing to you, make sure you join my Patreon page. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live and join the movement. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.